uh, at home, and I was homeschooling at the time for, for just a couple years. And um, the Lord kind of led me to homeschool, I think, because I, as I was in the house, my mom would be spending more time with me. And I would sing out throughout the house as I walked around and did my thing. And, and she started listening and saying in her heart, she says, there's something there. <laughs> really? And so she knew that if she had recommended to me that I take voice lessons, that I would be not agreeing to them. So what she did is she signed me up for a voice lesson, a single one, without when telling me. <laughs> my statement was, you know, you can, you can sign me up for voice lessons, you can put me in the car, you can drive me to the lesson, you can put me in the room, but you can't make me sing, Mom. <laughs> and did you go sing? I did. I went and I sang, and I spent an hour with the vocal teacher, and I came out of that voice lesson just absolutely in love with it. Absolutely. Is that right? Yes. Mom knows best. Mom yeah. knows best. <laughs> That's my world. The cross you've laid him on, that should be my world. Because he's done nothing wrong. You're pardoning the guilty. And you're punishing the good If things were like they should be I'd be laying on that wood I needed this to uplift me, encourage me with the uncertain life and we have to deal with today. I thought it was great. I'll tell you one thing I like most about Scott's music tonight is he uh, sang from the heart. The young man has talent, no doubt, but it was his passion his music that I really appreciate. I had glory bumps all over my hair stood up on end several times. I think it's the best I've heard for a long time, wholesome, spiritually inspiring. He gives me chills every time I listen to him sing. He's really good. I'm glad I was here. It's my hope and prayer that the music is music that touches people's lives. It's not something that they just listen to for fun or for entertainment, but something that does make a difference. is 100% what God wanted me to do, what He planned for me. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, have, I, I had no idea three or four years ago that I'd be where I am now. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea six years ago that I'd even be singing. <laughs> okay. So um, I'd hate to, I, I don't want to box God in by my idea of where I should go. So I just hope that whatever it is, it's ministry and that it's making a difference in people's lives, enough of a difference that they're turning around and <clears throat> making decisions for Christ. I really hope that's what happens, I pray. When Jesus comes, we'll live in glory. There'll be no sin, there'll be no pain forever and 